Pushing on camera. Tell me about your life and who you were before the accident. Um, before the accident, I was a normal girl. I was 19 years old, working in a racing stables with the horses. Um, definitely enjoying my life, being independent and moving out of home from my parents. What happened? I was at work and I was um, riding a racehorse and he bolted on me and I fell off and I fell onto the fence and broke my neck up here. So I broke my neck and the horse is fine. That's not bitter. What helped with your recovery physically and mentally? Uh, physically being able to notice your own improvements, that's probably mental as well. Um, when you look back at how far you've come, then you realise I'm actually doing well. But if you just look at a day-to-day -day progression, then it's really hard to see. Who has been your biggest support and how important has that been? Definitely my family and the, the young people that I was in the spinal unit with at the time. Um, I was really lucky when I was in the spinal unit because I was in the spinal unit over summer, which is when all the boys are doing stupid things, like jumping off wharfs and into pools and stuff. So yeah, having the support from the boys was really good. How does life now contrast to what you were anticipating it would be like in the weeks after your injury? I thought that I would be lying in bed looking at the ceiling for the rest of my life. So definitely the fact that at the moment I'm not lying in bed or looking at the ceiling. Um, it's great. I'm doing out and doing heaps of physio, finding new things that I can do with my disability. Proving people wrong is good. Is there any way this could have been prevented? Um, do I have to answer this question? Because there's a WorkSafe investigation on it at the moment. There's an investigation, so there's no answer. Tell me about something you're proud of that you didn't think would happen in the days and weeks after your accident. Um, well, the therapist that I was with told me I wouldn't be in a manual chair. And that, that was hard because I had been you know, paralysed for three weeks at that stage and she was already saying that I could never be in a manual chair, I would always be in a power chair. And I'm proud of the fact that I've overcome it and I haven't had to deal with things like depression and anxiety and stuff like that. I think I've kept my mental health really well. It's a huge change to go, to, to go through. Um, yeah, I just think that I've done really well. Thanks.